Mike, just tell us how everyone's feeling ahead of ahead of the game on Friday. It must be a real sort of buzz around the place. Yeah, exactly. Excited. Um, you know, we're we're trying to keep the focus on its uh, preparation as usual. Like I say, we've got optimum ways of preparing to to make sure we're ready. You know, we've got big games coming thick and fast. So, like I say, this has obviously got that special edge. But for us, it's just about making sure that we're prepared and and we're ready to to get to the levels that we need to get to. For all of you, is it a question of? Um yeah, just making sure that the players don't get too carried away by the magnitude of the occasion as well. Yeah, um, we've got a really good group to be fair, which is a, a really good strength for us. Um, we know the boys really well because we've had them together for a couple of years. So it's just managing managing that, which is really easy with the group we've got, to be honest. And everyone's just looking forward to it and looking forward to working hard on Friday and, and making a good account of ourselves as well as the club. If you're given the choice between promotion into football's fifth tier or getting the third round of the FA Cup and playing a Premier League side, which would you take? No. Good question, that, isn't it? Very good. Definitely can't do both. <laughs> right okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, I'm just going to say that I'm looking forward to the next game and winning that, ne that, that next game and see what, and see what the future brings. Uh, Mike uh, Lee from Look North, you obviously uh, still playing. Are you tempted to start yourself on Friday for a game of such, you know, importance? Uh, I'm tempted, yeah. I think, <laughs> um, yeah. Like, listen. All jokes aside, for me, it's a case of I'm enjoying every day. I'm enjoying playing, um, and until my body tells me otherwise, I'm going to keep putting myself out there. And, you know, until these guys, you know, tell me otherwise, the fact that if I keep feeling as I've got a, a positive impact on, on the group, on the pitch, then I'm always, you know, I feel fit and healthy. And uh, like I say, it's a massive game, one that I'm looking forward to and relishing. So, you know, we have got competition for places now. Um, so it does come into, you know, looking at elements and looking at the opposition and, and picking players because everyone's at such a level. Um, we could pick maybe three or four different formations or starting lineups in it that all be as strong as each other in different elements and different aspects. So, yeah, of course we want to play our strongest team, and, and that's you know down to, to us three to, to pick that. And we always know there's going to be upsets, Charlton mm -hmm. kind of struggling mid-table. Do you think you can take advantage of that? Um, again, 95% of our focus is all on us. Uh, we, you know, they've got huge Premier League experience in their squad. Um, regardless of their form, I think you know it goes out the window. I think it's going to be a, a real big game for for themselves as a club and obviously um, a young manager as well. He's trying to make a, an impression, and it's, it'd be a huge uh, achievement for himself to have a good cup run. But ultimately, it's our focus on us and, and how we prepare, how we go about it, because we genuinely believe um, wholeheartedly that on our day we can beat anyone. So it feels like in the last few rounds we've had replays and we've had to go through the mill. We've conceded you know, late equalisers and we've had to dust ourselves down and go away from home and, and kind of put a performance and that's what we've done. And we've showed real resilience and character in that as well as we know we've got really you know, good footballers and uh, offensive footballers that can hurt any back line. Like you say, you've conceded late equalisers, you've, you've scored late winners as well, haven't mm -hmm. you? In terms of the psychological advantage, that must be a bonus for you as well, knowing that you, you will fight right to the last. Yeah, yeah, and it's testament, like Ian said, to the group. We've got such a, a genuine group of lads, um, firstly as, as people, uh, but also, you know, we've got an excellent group of players. And that was the, for us, throwing the gauntlet down, you know, in, in the National League North, it's a very physical league. So on our day, I would back ourselves to out play anybody but ultimately you've got to deal with set pieces second balls percentage football you know big strong robust teams that are very good and, and disciplined at what they do ultimately I feel as though Charlton will be a step up from that in terms of the physicality you know a fantastic elite level team they've got big strong players and they they like putting the ball in the box and picking up second balls they've got good players that can hurt them but you know, we, we have to deal with that week in, week out. So I feel as though, you say, coming through the rounds we have done, we've grown that belief in the resilience inside the camp. And, um, and for us, whether it's the first minute, the last minute, the 95th minute, we go about our process in the most efficient way possible. And that's how can we hurt the team and how can we capitalise. And 
um, and really um, make the most of every situation. Mike, you played a lot of FA Cup football yourself, obviously. What are your, what are your best <coughs> memories from the competition? Um, not, not too many FA Cup, but when I was younger, I think it was 2006, it was a Carlin Cup run. Um, we actually beat Charlton uh, when we were, I was at Wickham Wanderers, so I've got good memories of that. We got to the semi-finals, played a two-leg with Chelsea. Uh, so yeah, and that was you know when I was young and I was coming through, and, and that really kind of was the biggest games of my career that I'd played in to date. And I think that's what a lot of the lads here are going to be facing now, you know, with this, with the, the media attention, it's, everything's, you know, been ramped up. And again, it's the cliche of playing the game, not the occasion. But like I say, we've got such a, a humble group of lads and they, they've got every, every kind of drive and, uh, and ambition to, to come here and give a good account of ourselves regardless, because then ultimately on Tuesday, we've got a massive game against York, but it's always a next game process. Mike, uh, Macaulay Langstaff hasn't been involved in the last few games. How is his fitness looking? He trained today. Uh, he come through today, all right. So we'll we'll um, see if there's any reaction. Um, we'll gauge that. And um, like I say, there's competition for places in every department at the minute. So we'll we'll gauge that and we'll we'll see how it, how it goes. Yeah. And, and how important will the big crowd be on Friday night? I think, uh, like I say, it will be a great atmosphere for, for the guys and you know, it's, it's really testament to the, the board who have come in and, and taken the club from the brink of extinction and it's a really, you know, it's a great occasion for them. I mean, for us, it's a case of, uh, they, we're going to have family and friends there, but it's about the job in hand. So for me personally, it's, it, it's nice to get have the crowd here, have the community <coughs> here, you know, guys coming out to support. but. Ultimately, it becomes a bit of a blur when you're, when you're in your game, you've got your roles and responsibilities and you're focused and, and you're dialed in. Cheers, thank you. All right. Ian, you've been here longer than the other two guys sat up there. It's safe to say it's been a different journey during that time. Where does Friday night reach in the second round, playing a former Premier League club rank and the list of achievements? Um, right up there, obviously, on the pitch. Um, off the pitch, just there. The club surviving and, and continuing to be a football club is probably the biggest achievement um, from, from where we were when I first came in and we were kind of on the brink of getting put from a conference to then getting relegated down just the, the club being here is probably the biggest achievement but in terms of on the field obviously it's, it's the furthest we've went in the second round we, we got the first round which was a big occasion as well but in terms of on the pitches is probably the biggest um, we always have that mentality, as Mike and you have touched on, is the next game is always the biggest one. And I'll never ever come away from that. But when you look at it from a bigger picture, this for the club, sort of with everything that you take in, finances and everything like that, this is probably the, the biggest occasion that we've had since since I've been here, to be honest. Even this is a stronger squad you've had since you've been here? Yeah, um, obviously I would here to be disrespectful to anyone who's been here previously, but um, just in terms of the, the squads really gelled well together. Um, people have, have kind of started to find the maturity within the squad. So you've got Macaulay, Blackie, who have been with us for a couple of years now and weren't playing every week. Now, you know, they're, they're getting numbers in terms of goals, performances. Um, the, the squad seem to have gelled better together off the pitch than what we've had previously. And I think that's, that's massive sort of to, to take on at the field as well. So to answer your question, yeah, I think this is the, the strongest squad. It's, it's really young. Hungry. We've made some great additions in the summer, which have really strengthened us. And as a as a coaching staff, we're learning as well. So we're getting better every week, every month. So as a whole, I think we're we're a lot stronger than we've ever been, really. Louis, from your point of view, it's been quite a remarkable year for you. Started at Heaven Town, and you know we're lifting the bars at Wembley, and, and now playing in the second round of the FA Cup, playing full time. Uh, have you had time to reflect on that? Um, no, I'm probably just enjoying the enjoying the, the ride at the moment and the experiences and the uh, opportunity for growth. Um, the challenge every day is something that I really relish, uh, and it's obviously like you've described there, it's been a bit of a an upward journey over the kind of last twelve months with the achievement at, at Hebben and moving back to full time football and joining joining the coaching team here. Um, so it's it's been it's been really good. But I feel as if it's the it's the right level of stimulus for us, and something where, uh, or some a, a place where I'm I'm growing each and every day, uh, learning on the on the playing side and on the coaching side, uh, and I'm really I'm really enjoying it. It's quite a step you've made from Northern League to National League North and FA Cup second round as well. You, you seem to have taken an all these strides. 
yeah, I think that comes from um, the support that I get from the guys um, in terms of the the confidence um, that they put in us in showing right from the start. It's allowed me to probably grow in this role as, as best as, as, as I could have and as I have so far. Um, and with the players that we're working with, you know, we're working with a, with a group of players that all want to grow and all want to get better. There's a, a lot of players there that have played at this level, maybe played higher, but are still trying to prove themselves and still trying to continue to develop. So we've got that mentality right across the board, whether it's the coaching team, whether it's me as a player coach or the, the actual group of players that we all want to get better and we all want to take this football club as far as, as, far as we can. And, it's a, and it's, a, it's a great mentality to be a part of. Yeah, certainly. Um, the fact that we're a tight knit club really helps us on the pitch. Um, the fans are massive. I've spoken to you proud of before to their club. Everything we do is, is for their for their community. Uh, we want to give them a club that they're, they're proud of, um, and we certainly feel that we're doing that at the moment. And that comes from the board as well. There's a lot of people involved in the board who really love the club, who were supporters before they came in. Um, so there's that side of it. And then because now we've got a kind of local core, I think that really helps as well. The supporters feel connected to the players more so than they probably ever have. Um, and I think that shows on the pitch when uh, one of the guys asked before them, last minute winners, that's, that's what gets us over the line because we never give up and we want to keep on going. And we'll always keep on going until we can't go anymore. And that comes from the supporters who have been brilliant and the players, coaches, it's all just a it's all just one big collective trying to push for the same thing.